Hey, this is John with Washam Development. In the last video, we did just the bare minimum to get a, a kind of proof of concept or a sandbox project set up using Windows Forms so that uh, we could easily see what Skiasharp is doing, see what it's going to output. So what we had done is just gotten a surface, and then each surface has a canvas that you can right on you can use all kinds of functions that the canvas has to draw a circle draw text do things like that i just want to mention one other thing in this skSurface.create. there's a few different ways you can actually create one this is the most simple where you're just passing in a width and a height that the surface is going to be um, but you can also there's other constructors for this where you can pass in like a width and a height um, and then you can do like uh, different color types here. Um, I'm not, I, I haven't worked with these enough to know uh, exactly what they're for. I, th I think there's certain operating systems, even iOS or Android, where some of these will apply. So if you're needing to get this in depth with it, you can. Um, I just, I, I typically don't need to. Um, I've typically seen uh, Primal used here for the alpha type. So this is one other way, uh, another constructor that I've often seen used. But we're just going for ultra simple. And so here we go. We've got this set up uh, with a canvas that's ready to go. So um, another concept with Skia Sharp, um, well, so let, first, let's go ahead and uh, get a background color. You can either do a canvas dot draw color, and that will um, draw a color wherever you want it to draw. Um, or one of the most simple ways before you start going is to clear the entire canvas, and then if you pass in a color, it's going to uh, put that as the background color. Um, you can do SK colors. It has its own set of colors that you can just easily pick from here. You can also do skColor.parse and then pass in a hex string. So the same thing would be like FF0000. So that would be red as well. That's another way if you're needing to use hex for some reason, you can do that. Um, so that right there is going to draw that as the background color. And let's go ahead and uh, we'll just start off doing a shape. Uh, so what you want first is a, it's called SK Paint. And this is, it's kind of like defining a paintbrush. And what is that paintbrush going to look like? And so we're going to tell it what it's going to look like. So you could start out with a uh, color. So what color is this circle that uh, we want to make? So uh, we've already got a red background. So let's do the color and uh, we'll just go ahead and make it to blue. Um, if you want anti-aliasing, I'm not sure if that applies to uh, shapes, but it certainly does to colors. Um, let's go ahead and set the uh, stroke width. So this is going to be the outside of the circle. We'll set it to 15. We want to set the style of this paintbrush to uh, stroke, since we're going to stroke the outside of this circle. And okay, so also another thing I should probably mention is you can see I'm using these using blocks here. Um, with most of these items, so the surface, the canvas, the paint, these things are disposable, and you want to make sure that you are always disposing of them. So using, uh, well, yeah, using these using blocks is an easy way to make sure that everything's getting disposed of as needed. So at this point, uh, we've got our canvas, and so we want to draw a circle. So you give it a uh, where at on the canvas. So we're going to give it. Uh, let's see, so here we've got X, Y, and then what is the radius that we want to use? We'll just say 30, and then you want to pass in the paintbrush. What is it going to look like? Okay, so we've got the circle uh, ready to be drawn here. Um, that's as simple as it is to draw a simple shape. Um, you can do other ones like a uh, rectangle, uh, whatever. There's all kinds of different stuff we can do here. So in the next one, uh, we will go ahead and we've got to get this put out onto our uh, Windows form uh, little thing that's going to pop up here. So we'll do that in the next one.